Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing with two fabulous, amazing Hoi4 YouTubers named Doing Hammer Gaming and Taki Senpai. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello. Cool, so I'm <laughs> So I'm playing as Mojave Chapter, Dune is playing as the good old guys in North called the Washington Brotherhood, and then Taki is playing the Western Brotherhood of Steel, and I believe he has it paused, or, or do I? I huh. No, it's, it's gone, it's gone, it's just That's slow. Cool. It's a little slow, uh, so yeah, this is going to be a little difficult. Seeing as I... I'm, I'm sure we'll manage. What, what could possibly go wrong? Well, well, I di I die within the first episode. Yeah, I'm <laughs> war. Um... That, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, for everyone who's watching, right now, let's go over the mods. We're only using two mods right now. We're using player led peace conferences as well as, of course, Old World Blue. That's all the mods that we're using. No mod comp, no Sweet Home California. Uh, just base game, Old World Blues. Can I send volunteers? Uh, Taki, can you? Is it possible for you to send volunteers to Dune? I've looked it up and it didn't seem to work, but maybe oh. now that it's unpaused, I'll have a look again. Because I can't, because I need uh, no. divisions in total. Well, my country isn't allowed in the first place. Oh. Good luck, Dune. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's 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 looking fine now. It's <laughs> I might be able to encircle some guys, so we'll see. As long as they don't encircle me back. Just use your power armor to the best you can. Some thick um... armor. Boys. Yeah, oh, that's thick, I... thick boys. And I'll let you know when we're about half hour in. So. Ah, yes. Yeah. Right. We're, you... We won't be going over 40 minutes as we usually do. Maybe. Hey, man, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ah, pounding. Right. What do I want? Your fathers were paladins, our fathers were scribes. War support or stability? Uh, I want him. Oh, which one do I... I'm going to go max out stability first just because stability is so good. Our interim. Let's see. Oh, we must have the exact same focuses right now. Yeah, we pretty much have the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, right that, uh, that's just the most unique park, so. Do we just become one big boy at some point then? That'd be cool, but. Time. That would be awesome. But we can't quite do it yet. So basically, Taki has base kind of archery, but actually flushed out. <laughs> he still has like the center path with like common ground, Mojave veterans, a little bit of expansion, the harbor, underground hangar, so. It's a big boy tree. I'm basically better. <laughs> That's just it. I like you a rework. Am I even a human being? I I, I know very little <laughs> about the lore. Yeah, you're uh, not a Turani, so you're still human. You're, well, as far as we so know, human. you might be a synth, but you know, whatever. Oh. 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 Hey, <laughs> Probably since, not. Since our people. Oh, are the in right. <laughs> I, 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 I take it the Institute's gonna get added eventually. Uh, in 10 years, probably. Grant. They would be yeah, there. Yeah, we'll the see how big... far we get with the East Coast. At the time of this recording, um, I'm still waiting for the East Coast mod to get updated so I can just play the crud out of it. Mm. Like Minutemen, the Institute, Met, uh, uh, Commonwealth good, of Massachusetts. Good old Preston Garvey. <laughs> what we'll a twat. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Uh, Taki, what's your manpower like right now? Uh, I've got 3k. 3.5. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I have 3.5k as well. Back. I got a tenth. I got three hundred. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there. Well, I can justify on you. Whoa, 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 I, whoa, 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 whoa! I can also justify on you. Oh, so much love. What is this fucker doing? Get away! If you justify on me, I'll justify on you. Mutual love, mutually assured destruction. Even though you probably beat the snot out of me right now. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I can't wait to see what the end game is gonna look like on the map. Oh gosh, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't wait until I become actually one guy instead of a triplet. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I was wondering what you were on about there, but... <laughs> um... <laughs> How many men have I lost so far? Oh, I've only, one... I've only lost one guy. One dude. One dude has died. <laughs> Probably by accident. <laughs> he just tripped and fell. Yeah, tri tripped and fell. Uh, I don't think any of us have an Air Force. I know I don't, but... Does... Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't even check. Is technically an Air Force in this game. Because technically, know. we are all... I think we should all be advanced. Maybe not the Washington Brotherhood, because they're a little odd. Primitive. Yeah, we're about, a little bit Primitive. mental. <laughs> oh, they are challenged. It's so weird seeing these buttons without ah. any color. Oh. oh, am I advanced? 
How do I tell if I'm advanced? Uh, you, uh, you go to the research tree right? and go to the little uranium or nuclear symbol, the reward technologies. Ah, yes, I am advanced. Ah, oh, you are advanced. Yes, okay, cool. grand. Oh, yes, an encirclement. It's happened. <laughs> to, so happy. to the capital. Yakma. Man. Oh, oh, the Hawaii's on the map. My game just like flipped over yeah. all the way Why? down for some reason. So Hawaii's called Sierra Leone and got... Oh, I got some... Huh. Do they have a focus tree? That'd be pretty fun. Actually, they, they, they don't actually exist. Well, they don't, yeah, they don't exist yet. Hopefully they, they look oh. kind of cool. Fallout Hawaii. Fallout <laughs> Hawaii. Oh my gosh. Fallout there's, Cuba. Miami. It's like the Hawaiian version of Genghis Khan born there. <laughs> starts invading everyone. Oh god. It, be, no, it could be like Vikings. I've got Hawaiian Vikings since they just spread out over the... No, that would be awesome. Raid the NCR in Baja, Mexico or Baja, California. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> Hawaiian Hawaii. Vikings. The pirate or the pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, I, I could do it with Cuba and like the yeah. uh, Hispaniola, Jamaican Vikings, pirates of the oh. pirates of Jamaica. Right, I go? I shall be back in one second. I'm just gonna pause cool. though, just cause just cause I don't want my war to mess up. Yeah. One second. Little, little bear in the Yakima Nation. There's a little bear. Where's the bear? Where's the bear? It's uh kind of we're central. Central part of uh, the Washington Brotherhood as well as the Yakima Nation. Uh, Western uh, Brotherhood, Yakima the, Nation. Yeah, yeah, I, north. yeah. north. So there's like my first bomb. There, there's an encirclement that dude made. Uh, there's technically two encirclements that he made. Uh, one near the bottom where they're fighting, and then one near the cent central part. Oh yeah. Oh there. yeah. There's no there. Okay, harvest him for energy or something. <laughs> I don't think this is Far Cry. I don't think you can do that. Can you? That'd be cool, though. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I mean, I imagine they do that no normally to hunt, but... Because I know, like, in uh, EU4, uh, when you look at the sea tiles, sometimes you see whales pop up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I always wonder, could you actually just fish them? Hmm. I don't think you cannot. But maybe maybe in the newest DLC. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I was going to say, is that a Canadian thing to do, go whaling, or is this a Japanese no, thing? No, uh, beating up seals is... Yeah, and that's the, that's thinking, yeah, clubbing. Everyone clubs some seals? Yeah, okay. We're far enough into this video to say that stuff, right? Six minutes in. What, um, what, what have I came we're, back to? We're advertising for <laughs> We're just clubbing now. things. Yeah. Over Maybe. here, clubbing, going to club is uh, pretty fun. Over in Canada, it's uh, a bit less fun. <laughs> going clubbing. <laughs> Everyone bring your little uh, sticks. <laughs> Our future, nice. Cool. Uh, resource efficiency gain. I'm going to go factory output. I got to get factory output. And now we're going to go. Oh, what do I want to do for my focus? Mm, mm, land do doctor's home. Oh, oh, chapter leadership. I'm going to attack Cuba Harbor. I'm going to grab some political power. I need that first. Some good old PP. Wait, I'm, wait, I'm attacking Pearl Harbor? Wait, what? And that, that's what I heard. I'm, oh. uh, I can attack Pearl Harbor. And I was like, wait, what? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, can you even see them on the map? Oh, I mean, I think it's on the big I island, so. Huh. It's technically no, but I mean, the geography is kind of there. Go, Dune, go! You made two, three encirclements. Yeah, and I'm, I'm literally about to take the capital. I'm hoping it's going to kill them. And then you find out it doesn't. That, yeah, this is when I just collapse as well. Oh. The Olympus is about to die. Yeah, but I haven't even, I haven't even moved forward on them yet. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like 76% uh, of the way towards capitulation for some reason. Damn. Hmm. Probably once you take you know, the capital, I guess. Oh, look at the casualties. They've only lost seven in one. Wow. Yeah, there's there's be, there's not been many deaths. Uh, how? Oh, the, look, you got the capital. Nice. Very nice. It's not enough, apparently. Uh, it's not enough, though. It's you need enough. Wenichi. I, I might just advise, you know, just going from Yakima, just cut off, like, people in the south. Just, just destroy them like that or something. Yeah, there's... I'm going to have another encirclement in a minute, because one of my guys is moving in the... Link up with that division that just took the capital. Mm -hmm. One of the instructments is about to die, it's got two divisions in it, so happy days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will give you a little bit of a warning though, Dune. Uh, if you want to expand north, sometimes you're going to take a lot of 
Like the, they're so spread out in the north, it's ridiculous sometimes. Oi. Oh, I can remember playing as the Broken Coast. Hmm, I've never played as them yet. I was actually quite fun. I was just thinking when I was playing as the Dredgers, or no, no, when you fight the Dredgers, you gotta get Prince George, you gotta get maybe oh. Johnson Creek, Fort Nelson, and Old Remo. Oh. Yeah, that was, that's that's not fun. That's just it's too, a, oh. it's too much effort. <laughs> Especially when you try to pair drop on all those places and you still don't have enough, and it's like, oh my god, seriously. Uh, oh, look. Dune is very nicely. Come on, we're almost winning? there. I, I, I'd say he is winning. Oh, definitely winning. Yeah, they've lost 181 men now. Oh. An insane amount of casualties. I tell you, this is absolutely ridiculous. It takes some getting used to it to this mod and seeing how little casualties there are constantly. Until you fight like the NCR, the Legion. Mm. Oh, or Mexico. Once Mexico gets more and more united, oh, it can be a problem. Hard. Especially if they use for like one of the Tlaloc sons. There's a guy named Tlalocan and then he dies in five years. We should probably disable him from the start actually, but whatever. It helps keep Mexico peaceful for a while. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen. Well, the Legion, or even well, mostly the Legion, or a United Mexico, or more United Mexico, like three hundred thousand soldiers. Oh, oh my God! Not bad. It gives you something to look forward to in Endgame if you really want to look forward to that. Oh, look at that! One, two, three, four, four encirclements. Oh, technically, yeah, that's not really five. Oh, it's kind of five. Got to cut off. Go, go, go! Get when it. Oh, almost there. It. You're pushing in uh, those little. Yeah. Uh, Oh, it's like well, let's see. Yeah, it I don't know. At 10 points compared to the, like the five of the other two victory points. Let's see, capitulate win is less than 20%. It's 63% of the way towards capitulation. Eh? Eh? Oh, come on. Get him, Doom. Get him. Die. If you need to <laughs> speed it up, I'm just let you know. Yeah, let's, let's pop up to three. What was that? Let's pump up the speed three. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Get trucking. Get trucking. Meanwhile, we're over oh. here just chilling. Oh, I, I, I tabbed over, like, before we started recording. Uh, Dune should have a guy named Paladin Todd under Paladin. his cultural advisor. I'm probably going to go for that one first. It's 100 political power. Um, gives you 10% more political power, which is what I'm going to need. Oh, and gosh. What? Lowers cost of other things. Oh, you got that, and then you got Kennewick. Mm -hmm. So that might be useful later on, or immediately. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what oh, that that power armor unit's just walking right in behind them all. <laughs> oh. Oh, their whole army is going to get encircled in a minute. Yeah. Uh oh. Just don't kill the bear. The bears love. The bear must survive. Bear. Just need one more VP. That's it. You get Bedal, I guess, or uh, where else you got? Where I'm you going got? to I'm going to the capital. I'm going to the vision down there. Oh, oops. Back in Venice. I mean, that should be it, right? No, still not. Ninety-one percent. Jesus Christ. Oh, definitely when the, that uh, Kennewick falls. Come on, complete the encirclement. Do it. I mean, what is an encirclement yes. at this point? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I think I am. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yes, I'm gonna take Mount Olympus as well right now. Good. Oh, yeah. no, Wrapping this up. Them. And then we'll go to five speed and just go zoom 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 until we have. Oh, uh, oh they had Kodiak base, huh? Oh, Give me that's, that. That's where they were almost. All right. It's up Peninsula. Nice. No. Very nice. It came a bit First one done. And now you. Oh, wait. Oh, I've generated the most world tension. Oh. <laughs> How? What? What did you even do? I might be disappointed someone. It's gonna take a while. You just and throwing your control. If I don't want to expand early, I might as well just quit now. I'm gonna need their manpower, man. Yeah, that's very true. Oh. Them ranges. Come on, just. Uh, we there we go. Nice. We're done here. I can enjoy my chips in peace now. Cool, and now you better core them because oh, I didn't tell you guys about resistance. 
Oh god, what? Uh, is it different from... Uh... It's different. So, if you go to your flag, and then you go to your occupied territories... Mm -hmm. The fastest way to do it is to, when you go to occupied territories, you go to the very top, and you select Wasteland Pacification, I think is what it calls. It's the second lowest one. Alright, yeah. It gives you more daily compliance, but for Dune's case, in your tree, your focus tree, you do get cores on those nations if you go within the blizzard as fast as possible. Alright. So, just... I go straight for that, so you don't lose any more manpower equipment. Ah. Also, use militia. Use militia for garrisons; it might already be set up for you. The militia brother claims an an awoggle in the cause. Where's the cause? Just south of you. <clears throat> Two to eight divisions. Oh, I should be able to take them. I've got double the army. Well, I've got at least a little bit of power armor. You, you'll be fine. Should be. We'll do a naval invasion because I do not fancy crossing, <laughs> crossing the little crossings. Look at that. Well, oh no, oh wait, no, I already can just... you. I mean, it'll be okay. But hey, as long as you got a navy, it's better than me. Ah, uh, well, I've got ships yeah. getting built, not got any yet. Is there a point to uh, a navy in this game? Uh, not not nearly as much. I mean, the only, na the only reason I make a navy is to invade New Victoria if you don't have, like, trans Or, you know, pretty much. Oh, well. I mean, you can, you can pretty much ignore it. I mean, people will navally invade you. They will. If they can, but uh, I mean, I have got. You can ignore it if you really want. Yeah. So I'm gonna make okay, the biggest okay, fleet. Maybe out of all they look absolutely ridiculous, though. It's like a make... robo. Robo? Yeah. Well, I, well, since I have a navy, I can actually look at the design. There's just yeah. pro robots and bigger robots. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Drop mock up. What's the best land doctrine to go down? Uh, it depends what you are. So, uh, oh, Washington Brotherhood, they have a lot of infantry compared to power armor. If you want to use robots, you want you go automated warfare. Mm. Conventional warfare is for, like, just regular infantry. Asymmetric warfare is also for, like, regular infantry as well. Well, that's more like for, like, you could do, like, the Legion. It depends. Like, conventional warfare is, like, the tried and true pre-war pre -war stuff. Right. Asymmetric warfare is more like wasteland stuff. And then refined is just power armor. Our goal was going to grab next. Kept the leadership. Yeah, I'm going to go conventional so, warfare. Because if you go down the right side of conventional warfare, you will get 5% more manpower, which is very helpful. Mm -hmm. I should definitely do that. I should probably do that, but I'm not going to. I don't need manpower. Black Paladins. That sounds interesting. Racist? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they're just colors. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, you guys got a good, good amount of manpower factories. Oh. Huh? oh damn! Non-core manpower minus fifty percent. Bloody hell! Well, uh, I mean, minus fifty percent non-core manpower, which does hurt you, but it's not terrible. Yeah. I mean, with your focus tree, you do get two percent more later on with enslave the weak. So. Enslave the weak. <laughs> uh -oh. Just casual enslavement. Oh, let's see. We're 16 minutes in or so. You two do. Uh, <laughs> the demonetization uh, time. Even so, with your military policy, here's another thing about like resistance. You can raise it up to four unless we get to the next focus if you want. It's fine with me. Uh, so, you go to military policies. You can go to outside of recruitment, I think. Mine's a little bit different than everyone else's, I think. But uh, it might, it might not be. You should be able to see one that gives you like more daily compliance. That's what you want when you go to war and you, you know take over new people. Oh, outside our auxiliaries. Yeah, because you want as much compliance gain as possible. Mm. That's in the military uh, stuff, right? Uh, sh yeah, military policies. It should be. Yeah. Yeah, the second one. I... You might oh, not have no, 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 oh, the the no, no outsider stuff, right? Yours is a little bit more special, since well, focus tree, special, unique stuff. Oh, all right. So, that's general when you play Old World Blues, you want that. Uh, I don't get that. But it would be 2% more population. So you want to max out compliance as fast as possible, or just going to kill your country. Hmm. Actually, uh, Mocha, do you have, know what a, pro, uh, what a proper template is for this? Oh, yeah. Come on, uh, it depends what, what you want. Cool. Well, I right now I'm just producing common energy weapons and uh, scavenger armor, but I've got pioneer kits that I can make apparently. But is pioneer kits are for stuff cops. Don't worry about them. Don't make them. Mm. For all special right. forces. Oh, all right. Been them. 
All right, I'll just make common energy weapons then, I guess. Oh, uh, that's like that's your equipment. So, yeah, that's yeah. really cool. You're never wrong with that one, I guess. That's usually for that's good for more hard attack than soft attack, because you know I'm your advanced nature. That's pretty much normal that you go down that path. So. Mm -hmm. Only get 1.7 political power a day. It's not enough. Oh my gosh, there's so four percent resistance target. Hmm. Even more political power. Get more data compliance. Hmm. Gosh, I can't believe how much this has changed since the last play that. <laughs> <laughs> hey yeah, boy. When's the last time you actually have, you actually played this, dude? I have no idea. I, I want to say it was my was it my Rio Grande playthrough? Or, the, or so Caesar's Legion? I don't know. It's a while ago now. I can't even remember. September maybe? Last September 2019 maybe? I think that's when Possibly. Like, out. Yeah, I, I didn't play the most recent update, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah. I played it when yeah. Mexico got updated. That, that, I think that was the last time. Yeah. You played as a, the Enclave Reborn. Once or twice. Oh well, I, I done, Nevada the Nevada way, and then, making the United States, and then I did start the purest one, but then I gave up because I couldn't be bothered at that point. I I just did. I technically at the time of this recording, I'm doing my purest. Purest is honestly pretty easy. Oh my goodness, it's it's a lot of fun, especially when you start cloning things. Oh, so cloning. Oh, yeah, that's like more manpower. Oh. Oh, you cool. can just make manpower. Yeah, you well, just, I mean, you can always really make manpower, but not that quickly, I guess. And it was surprisingly not that difficult. It, kind of, you know what you're doing? Like, when I did the Nevada path, like, for the Enclave Reborn, I screwed up. So I basically restarted the campaign, like, on my fourth video. It took, like, 12 minutes. Oh, so. gosh. <laughs> that was totally fine, though. I mean, there's things you should do. There's things you really can't do. Mm. So, But if you have no idea what you're doing, like, what, like me, then... When you first start, it's like, oh my goodness, what do you do? Yeah. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go with this. I need the army. And decorate one. Oh, oh, I like to jump up front. Hmm. I love how they've changed the like the tree tree for the, your um, your generals. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a little different than you know regular everything else. You get your special stats <laughs> and your traits. And I love how. <laughs> Elder Immortal is my commanding officer, and he's just got nerd rage. I couldn't imagine him with nerd rage. <laughs> he's just really passionate about Marvel movies, okay? <laughs> oh. He thinks he's Iron Man or something. <laughs> he, he has, like, an Iron Man bed in his room. <laughs> On his chest, he has that little, uh, the, the symbol thing, the little, uh, heart. Yeah, but he just drew it on. <laughs> Sharpie. A piece of paper just taped on. Let's see. Oh, we did finding the army. I'm going to... Hmm. What should we go for next? Supply is 5% attack. I need more than 5% attack. 5% defense. Oh, temp... Oh, what happens if you attack? unban chems? Uh, I don't really know. I've never really done that. I mean, you people... You can, China oh, that after thing. the Opium War. Oh. No. oh. Uh, but, okay, so in this game, you go to your decisions. There should be, you see events and decisions in that little tab. Oh, hold on, I gotta do another decision. So you go to decisions, and it says events and decisions. You go to, to the, you look over to, a little bit to the right side that's popping out. It says, like, Gunrunner Black Market. Yeah. You click on that, and then you can buy guns if you need them. Oh. Which, I have the cap, buy guns now. Let me. Before anyone in the comments tells me, I'm going to buy guns now, because I actually have a deficit. So you got caps, and caps limit how many divisions you can hold at one time. Oh, we damn. We kind of caps early on, but whatever. You work with it. I'll work with it. So if, oh. you, ban, if you unban chems, you can buy drugs for your soldiers, which gives you more, like, attack or defense and stuff like that. But it hurts, like, other various little stats that they have, too, so. Oh, of course, because, you know, drugs are bad. You go through withdrawal, you know, just yeah. drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Well, it can be very good, but like I guess. No, <laughs> Grab that early on. I'm doing my land off. I want to get... So militia are good for, you know, resistance. They're like your garrisons. Militia are good, but there's a technology called 
crowd control gear, which gives you a new division to, called Enforcers, which is better for putting down... Mm -hmm. But you're not really supposed to build them, right? It's just to, you know, add them towards your... Well, you build the equipment. Um, could, could we go to speed three, please? Because I'm going to go to war again. Oh, you're so violent, dude. It's so violent. I know. Must be Scott and you. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so disgusting. This warmongering personality. I apologize. This is why we kick him to the north, you know. <laughs> it's containment. Violent people from Washington. Oh gosh, they're not going to stand a chance. Hopefully not. Give me just one more. Just keep going, I'll be right back in just one second. Why are you going to war with, actually? I'm at war with the cause, the yellow one below me. Oh, oh we are going to, I think, have the cat's presence. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yep, Binky wanted to. Uh, <laughs> um, he demands a presence. He demands to come in my room. Uh, he's just meowing outside my door. So. Trouble at the home front. The fuck does that mean? Oh look, you got Umbra. Oh hell yeah! I expanded. <laughs> you so didn't even realize. Royal, or you can invite a royal to join your faction. Uh, she would punish for what does that even mean? You go to war with the sheep. Probably. Oh, I hope so. I so must. It's, it's literally like uh, basically Chinatown. Um, there are people from the People's Liberation Army that made it through a submarine to play it. And they <laughs> landed basically in Chinatown. they kind of been staying there ever since. Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, trouble on the home front. It's really up to you what you want to do. They will, I think, eventually ask for like, was it Antioch or Con Concord? So. Oh, so in that case, I'll just um, kill them. them out. Yeah. Strategically place my troops on their border. And or draw you can just first. It's up to you. So I mean, I have to fabricate a claim on them, right? Yeah, you will. You get claims on them, but then you have to justify. So yeah, I, like I tried to piss them off, but they they backed off apparently. From what <laughs> uh. I can understand. Um, small deck energy, but whatever. <laughs> That's 55,000 people. They have a lot of resources over there, so which is really good. And Dune can get the old country sometimes with them in his alliance, as well as 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 well as Fort Maul. So. Oh, and that was easy. Nice. Now, you're kind of thick. A little thicker. Thank you, Morgan. He do be looking kind of thick. I I always look thick. <laughs> this isn't an accident. I trained for this shit. I trained. Uh, I, right. I, I'm not going to say anything else. About <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the best. Right. We can we can jump back up in speed if you want. He wants to go six speed. Okay. As fast right. as is we it, can. Is it even possible to play on? No, it isn't possible. I got a goal though. No. <laughs> Finley next, just because we can get more. Oh wait, I can get undesirables. Oh, I can get more population. Uh, undesirables, yeah. he says. Well, I mean, sounds so ominous. Well, that's a, part of the military policy. You can have petty criminal conscripts, homicidal conscripts, raider conscripts, or uh, slave conscripts. Oh Jesus! And I can have you have mutant recruitment too. So right now, I don't allow any mutants. I can go ghoul recruitment, super mutant, or just recruit all mutants. And what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go with the guy and go with Finley. So I can Paladin Finley oh gets more stability and worse support. All right, that the followers of Apocalypse. I just say just invite them in. It's it's too much of a hassle to deal with them trying to kick them out early. Just accept them. You get some debuffs and some buffs. It's it won't hurt you that much. Welcome. Just, well, just to be honest, the, uh, Apocalypse to uh, reside in your country. We are a bunch of maniacs up here, so it's perfectly fine. Come on in. Yeah, that doesn't make it why they come to the Washington Brotherhood or you know other areas. They're pacifists, so I mean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Okay, great. So you will get some debuffs, like uh, they'll demand demilitarization or demobilization. Oh, I should just. It hurts a little bit, but overall, it won't hurt you that badly. They can they just tell them to fuck off, probably, too. right? Just you know, just. Followers of the apocalypse things, that's all. Wow, oh, weird bunch of people. Come on, Port Maul, it's time for you to join me, otherwise you're dying. Also, the follower apocalypse, as when you first get them, they have their followers spreading, which lowers your weekly war support, which really sucks. But, oh, yeah. 
what you can really do. You can always get more. Well, I've got a research, be... get research bonus though, plus five. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I mean that's good, but we are kind of already advanced, so I guess. It's yeah, it's better. it's not really. Oh, time to get a spy. Bank. Oh yeah, that's also a thing. Oh yeah, well, well, look at you guys having enough factories to get spies. Oh, I guess I do too, but that well, would, that would make all my civilian factories. Would... To be honest, I don't really use the spies. I just use the cryptology. <laughs> I barely, I don't even use that. I'm just like, mm, whatever. Most of the time I just forget to make the organization in the first place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because there's no, there's no problem being like, oh, you don't really research anything in the, in your agency. Which is a bit of a bummer. I mean, you can, you can use spies, you know, put down resistance, which kind of helps, but. Yeah, but you can't really tell them to just be all over the place. It's just like a small area that they guard. Yeah. It's fine in, in this map, maybe, but when you play the base game, it's. Really annoying. Base game? What's base game? All I play is old world Yeah, I, <laughs> we only play mods. <laughs> I've never heard of the Soviet Union. What's that? Yeah. What? Is that in a mod? I. It's one of those fantasy things that some weird people have played. Fantasy. Up. <laughs> the fantasy country. Uh, what is my next step? Actually, how long is it going to take for me to go? Ah, uh, yes. Do... Become my puppet, you little. Oh. Uh oh, bitch! Nine divisions. Can I take them? Yeah, give me them. You don't. You don't. You don't need an army. I'll take control of them. You don't need an arm. You <laughs> just give your arm to me. <laughs> yeah. Give me your arm. Let's see. Let's see. Targeting good. Nice. Uh, Henry Gibbs gives me the good stuff. Uh, you're using. Well, time to commit a few war crimes. Oh, I want to commit some war crimes as well, man. Give it time. You'll be able to soon enough. Hmm, One day. Clamp down on autonomy. That sounds good. Is it just me or is there no music, actually? You have to turn it on. Have you guys done this bug? Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work, right? It's, it's all uh, copyright stuff, probably. Oh. Uh, wait, which ones? Like, the music that's playing? Uh, I, I rarely get music playing these days. For some reason, it just bugs out and it just stops. No, oh. um, I have the old blues. Like it's all like some of the Fallout tunes that aren't copyright claims. So. Oh, I'll just oh, play that. That sounds fun. As, 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 of... So far, I mean, I've done it for a little while and I haven't been copyright claimed yet. So. Yet, I, I'm getting a lot of random old videos getting copyright claimed right now. I'm like, oh. what is the point? They don't even have ads on them. <laughs> these are yeah. very old videos. Uh, I, I, I'm getting the same, but I'm, I'm spiteful enough to where I, if I know that they don't have the right to it, I'll just dispute it. And then after, oh, yeah. like, on the last day what they, where they can be like, yeah, we accept your dispute or not, they, they uh, <laughs> always release it. So I'm like, yeah, fuck you. You'll not get my three cents that I made off of this video. <laughs> you only take them my pennies. Cool. So we're pretty much at where we need to be for this episode, I suppose. So and we all take it some territory. This is like an episode here, maybe? Yeah, yeah, sounds right. And I just finished my war with the Mojave Raiders. So, guys, everyone who's watching, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider checking out Dune Hammer Gaming's channel as well as Taki Senpai. Leave likes on their videos and maybe mine. Subscribe to everyone here if you still feel inclined. Uh, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.